So, we're back with another Grand Cross video. Today, I'd like to talk about the new Ragnarok characters and show you someone for it. Part 1-ish. I'm not going to go over all the abilities of all the units, but I'll leave sources in the description so you could go check it out after this video. So, about the new characters. Let's start with Sigurd. He looks amazing. Literally. What a beautiful man. Anyway, from what we've seen so far, he seems like the unit that AM Melee has always been looking for. So, he has an Estort card, and apparently his passive is to give attack buffs to all allies with the amount depending on the number of enemies who have the Estort debuff. Like in this clip, you can see AM Melee receiving 3 attack buffs in the following turn, which is amazing. Anyone who had AM Melee from the start is probably smiling like crazy. Okay, next unit. Dono? Donolu? I believe that's how it's read from the katakana. She's not that special compared to the other two. But she seems like a god in death matches, especially the new level 90 blue demon. I'm not sure just yet to what her skill is at the moment, but just know that, that she is a great support unit that will be given for free with a full your costume. Last but not least, Blue Lost Way Melodus. I'm quite happy to see him here because now we know that there is a possibility for another version of all the festival units. Doesn't that sound great? <laughs> but that aside for now, he seems like a last ditch unit. Why? Well, you can run him at the back like how they did. Um, his passive is to mash his out gauge to the enemy who has the most out gauge with a possible maximum of 3? I mean that sounds confusing and I'm not sure just yet but until the translation is here, this is the info I had. So imagine you run him in the back, at the back of a glue eater. Oh no, your Eskanal dies! What should I do? Oh wait, I have blue Lost Way Meliodas with free outgauge. Whoa, I got two mergers! Nice! Now I'm going to out with my new 6 6 blue Lost Way Meliodas. Oh! They all die! Great! I won! Yes, I'm so great! So now, I wanna talk about the shoot you summon for the banner. In this case, it's not like a final one, and I might be making another in the future due to the lack of the information at the moment. P.S. I have to wait for a week or two to see them in action at first. But let's all have a look at the units that are in the banner. So the banner includes green small Dian, okay, blue demon Meliodas, oh no, wait, red king? You mean red skinny king? Uh, okay, blue Merlin, oh, green as no, oh no, red as well, well after this PvP rule, you <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna do anything, man. Okay, um. Blue Cell Dress. Blue Droll. Um. Green Derriere. Sario. Tarmiel. And Green Arthur. Okay. Um. It doesn't. Like, overall, the banner isn't that bad. Your main goal probably are the three new units anyway. Um, it's a 600 gems banner. You could summon for it, but there has not been an info whether they are um, an exclusive unit or not. But I mean if you ask my personal opinion, then it's a skip. But there's one more thing. So if you are an AM melee team and want to get back in the PvP meta as soon as possible, then Secret seems like the closest to the answer right now. While if you are in blue gear, having a blue Lost Way Mill that's wailed out at the back is literally 99% win chance. P.S. that 1% is a mirror who has wailed more than you. So now the gap between whales and F2P has increased further and further every day. 
I guess that is just another day of grand cause. RP free to play players. So, to conclude, someone if you are a whale or an AM melee slave. Bye. Okay, so I know the video ended, but I would still like to talk about the new update as well. So, um, there will be, of course, the new um, story ish stuff about Ragnarok, of course. That I'm not sure just yet, so um, we'll have to see tomorrow. But okay, so um, I would like to talk about the new coin dungeon. So apparently, there will be a new stage for the Fort So Grace. Fort So Grace? Grace? That, that's how it was written here. Fort So Grace. So. Um, apparently you spend coin to enter, like coin from coin shop. So if you spend thirty silver coin, you can enter and get envious, um, and awakening, like equipment awakening aw materials, which is nice, which is nice. Um, gold twenty gold coins can get you to dungeons for um the costume costume upgrade materials okay and um, pl um, platinum coins can get you to the stage that can get um, evil materials hammer visor um, and the super awakening coins and the you are awakening thing I can't remember the name so overall it's great but it still limits the amount of time you can enter so um, for the silver one, you can um, enter 10 times. Um, for the gold one, you can only enter 7 times and um, platinum 6 times. Um, other than that, oh! So the um, new lock in rewards. So now the lock in rewards will be a revamp. So um, from 7 days, it will be 14 days. And overall, you actually get 20 gems from the two week and SSR part one and part two ticket. Okay, um, all that. Oh, part three. Part three banner is here as well, so pop. Mm, other than that, it's not. There is stuff, but it's not something that big, so we'll just leave it for now. Okay, so I want to thank you guys for watching again, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.